Hello. How y'all doing? I'm going to talk about this. Trump, but God. Now, I personally was not at all shocked that there was an assassination attempt on Trump. Um, this is not a prophecy. But I'm just talking about basic personality traits. I was not at all surprised that there was assassin- an assassination attempt on Trump. Not at all. Why? Because Trump propagates hatred, uh, racial hatred, all kinds of hatred. He propagates that. Uh, so if you sow hatred, you're going to reap hatred. That's just the way it is. These extremists, he's always endorsing these extremists, the white supremacists, the Proud Boys, the KKK. He's always endorsing them. When that incident happened in Charlottesville where that young girl was killed because of a KKK rally, he offered no apologies to that girl, the family of that girl. He endorsed what the KKK was doing. Stand up and stand tall, as I recall. Um, he endorses the uh, KKK. Uh, he propagates hatred. If you propagate hatred, if you sow hatred, you're going to reap hatred. See, there's an element of the Proud Boys and the KKK that hate him. He believes, I think, that they all love him. Because after all, he's propagating their doctrine. So he believes they love him. But there's an element of the Proud Boys, element of the KKK that hates his guts. So I'm not surprised that this happened by one of his own kind. You know, it's an age-old story in history. It's always your own kind. You know, King David said, my own familiar friend has lifted up his heel against me. Julius Caesar, Brutus, uh, lifted up his heel against Julius Caesar. Jesus, one of his own kind, Judas, lifted up his heel against Judas. I mean, Jesus. Uh, Malcolm X, his own kind killed him. Martin Luther King, his own kind betrayed him. Uh, So, you know, it's an age-old story. Your own kind kills you. I remember hearing this story on 60 Minutes where this uh, white supremacist propagated so much hate over the years. And guess who killed him? His own 10-year-old son is who killed him. Okay. Um, now, I, now, if that was me, I would be humbled. I would find my way to the cross. If I come that close to death, I'd find my way to the cross. To the cross. Now, I don't know if this is going to humble, humble uh, Trump or not. I don't know. And I don't know if he's going to survive. He's, what, 60, 76 or 77? Got shot near the head. I don't know if he's going to survive. You don't either. Uh, this is his probably his last warning from God to get his heart right before God. To stop propagating hate. Uh, This is probably his last warning. But will this humble him? I don't know. God moved his face a half of an inch to the left or a half an inch to the right, which made that a graze wound. A half an inch is not very much. It's only about, look, if you look where your fingertips are, you know, that's about a half an inch is not very much room. But the way I see it, God moved his face, his head, a half an inch to the right or a half an inch to the left. And that's why the bullet did not completely annihilate him. But God, you know, God has mercy on all of us. Even though Trump, uh, he's an idolater. He's an adulterer, chronic adulterer. Uh, financial sins. He treats his wife like trash. So, you know, despite all that, God had mercy on him. Moved his face, but God, you know, I say, but God moved his face a half an inch to the right or to the left. And that's what prevented him from complete annihilation. 
See, there's an element of the Proud Boys in the KKK that hate Trump. And he doesn't understand that. If you propagate hate, if you sow hatred, you're going to reap hatred. See, not all of them love him. Some of them hate him. Um, so, in my opinion, that's not a prophecy. It's, it's just the way of the world. If you sow hatred, you're going to reap hatred. You sow violence, you're going to reap violence. He sowed violence. Overthrow the government. He's going to reap violence. He it overthrew the government. He bears no responsibility for it. He manipulated the Supreme Court. He still manipulates the Supreme Court. He sowed violence, overthrew the government. Because he has a temper tantrum because he didn't win the election. Or because he had a temper tantrum. So just cause a lot of carnage, cause a lot of deaths, cause a lot of suicides among the police that were there on January the 6th. And he bears no responsibility. He sold violence. He has he's he's gonna reap violence. You gotta reap what you sow. Bye.